uh, talk you well. We do have a slight issue with the audio on the screen, so please bear with us if it's not perfect. I will send a recording to anyone on Zoom if they need it afterwards. Uh, we'll take questions in the room as normal, and then if we can take anything on Zoom, we will do, and we'll set an embargo partway through for 10.30 this evening. Can we start with Pete, please? Let's go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, good to see you. Good to see you, Doug. Can I just ask you, we're, we're obviously into the into the run-in now, uh, only a few games left. Um, a lot of talk of, of Liverpool winning the quadruple, but you're obviously still very much in, in, the, uh, in the ascendancy with the one-point lead. You don't, in the next three lots of games, you play after Liverpool. Just wondered what you made of that and whether that maybe gives them an advantage? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> Ask to the broadcasters, they decide the game, so I don't know. How do your players deal with that, for example? They'll know, obviously, how Liverpool have, have played and, and, and gone we on. We have been because... in this position many times in the past and now in the present, so it's not new. We have to do our game. If we play before or later, we have to win the game. Nothing changed. Jürgen's announced yesterday he's staying on at Anfield till 2026 and it, it, he's hoping obviously to continue this wonderful rivalry with, with yourself and, and with, with City. When a, a fellow coach makes that sort of decision, do you maybe think about maybe staying on a little longer as well? Who? Yourself. Ah, uh, myself? Um, I don't know. It's a uh, leads, it's um, focus, uh, the important thing, you have... Uh, uh, so congratulate the Jurgen on Liverpool. It's, I think is really good for the Premier League, and um, and I wish him all the best. So in the future, so and to my future is Leeds. Our future is Leeds, and in the end of the season. So no no thought at this stage about whether that his decision impacts on on what you might do in the future. Why oh, should uh, take an impact? Uh, so everyone has in everyone his situations and and. If uh, we decide to stay longer, because together we decided not because my colleague Jurgen extend the contract or not extend the contract. So I don't, I don't, I don't see the relation honestly. In terms of today's other news, Mo Salah has been voted by the football writers as their Player of the Year. Uh, a lot of people would have thought a lot of City players might have well have been in, in contention for that. What do you make of Mo Salah winning that, perhaps ahead of, of Kevin De Bruyne? Congratulations to Salah. Will there be disappointment in, in your side? I was not in contention. So. <laughs> <laughs> I play good, but <laughs> but um, Kevin, for example, will he you know will he be disappointed not to have won that award? He won already. So congratulations, Salah. Jurgen said so. They have the best keeper, the second best second keeper in the world, the best central defender, the best holding midfielder, the best striker. Yeah. So it's normal they win all the awards. Down Thank to you. Stu, you just pass that down for us? Uh, Pep, I understand you saying that Jurgen signing his contract doesn't have any relation necessarily to your future, mm. but just how much do you enjoy being here when you've got rivals like Liverpool to fight against? How much does it energise your work? All my career, already 14, 15 years uh, as a manager, always I always have rivals. So, I think it's really good for for the Premier League. He extend the contract and and because he decide the club decide to to still together. So it's nothing to add. Have you held any further talks about your own situation? No, no, no. Do you know when you will? Honestly, I'm so concerned and busy about the end. The last three weeks, one month we have ahead of us to the end of the season. And after we have time. I have the feeling that one year is a uh, is a lot of time. So we six seasons together, so many many years. So is uh, well, I want to enjoy. I'm enjoying this part of the season, and after we have time. So I, I tr we have an incredible relation with my club, with my chairman, uh, with the CEOs, sport directors, all the people in the club. So and you know my opinion. Not because you're going to extend the contract. I'm not going to say differently something differently. What I said. I don't know how many times. I'm an incredible happy. I could not be in better place in my life to work in right now, today, you know, like here. So I cannot, I cannot see it. I cannot visualize a better place. So 
but it's not just about me, it's just about many things, about other situations, and and with calm, <laughs> we are going to take the decision we are going to take. But when Manchester looks like this, is there any way? Unfortunately, it doesn't happen quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Can I ask you about Leeds as well? Obviously, Jesse Marsh took over from... Um, a man that you admired in Marcelo Bielsa. A lot has changed, their form's improved as well. Do you see them as a, a much tougher proposition this time than the last time you faced them? Always when I play with, with Leeds, look last season, we dropped five points uh, with Marcelo and uh, Jesse Mart and make an incredible job in, in Salzburg and of course in the States before and Leipzig was in the perfect place for him, for the culture, that uh, Salzburg style, the gegen pressing, and for two, 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 many things that they, right now here in England, many teams is playing in that way, so have a lot of respect, uh, and it will be a, a probably, because he's in between the Champions League semi-final, is the toughest, well, I wouldn't say the toughest, because I would say after that, Newcastle, Bolts, West Ham, Aston Villa, would not be, but it's the most important for the position the games are going to play, the most important game that we have. Because after Madrid being final Champions League or not, just we have four games just focus in the Premier League. And uh, we spoke a lot about that, so and they know exactly, they saw it today, we spoke about that, how special team they are for the way they play, but we accept the challenge and we know exactly what you have to do and we're going to try to do it. Thank you. We've got Mike <coughs> Mane on the screen. We've got nothing else in the room for now. Mike, if you can hear us okay? Yeah, Yeah. Just want to know about mid-season in between the Champions League semi-finals. You see, obviously, stuff in that period with, with the quarter-finals in Liverpool twice as well. Are you expecting tomorrow to be tougher? For that reason, and will you have Tuesday in mind for this game? Sorry, Wednesday in mind for this game. Well, it's tougher because the league is tough, and I know how is the crowd, and they are fighting for. They need points. Uh, we need points too. So yeah, it will be. We know it. The people feel it. The way they train today, I saw them incredible focus, and uh, I think every everyone, everybody in the club knows what we are playing for in this last part of the season and and that what they have to do. So we we make an incredible last three games with a lot of goals we score, we incredible a lot of chances we create and this is the what you have to continue to do. And after football can sometimes you have rewards, sometimes sometimes you have to accept the defeats. Yes. I don't know right now. No, now it's not, I'm not worried at all. So when I'm in November, but now I count for the guys are fit. So it's injured, unfortunately, for all of us, for him especially. So. I don't pay attention. I have to work to come back as soon as possible. I'm focused with the with the rest of the players. What, what about John as well? He gives well, but, uh, in a game with Real on Tuesday, is, is he okay? For tomorrow's out, and we'll see for Wednesday. We just got to Stu here, please. Hi, Pat. Um, Jack Grealish is the only one of your forward players who hasn't figured prominently in the last seven games. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that he could still have a big impact on this season and what does he need to do to be playing in those big Champions League games? He can. He can. Nothing changed. He just, because in that position, Riyad, for a long time, is with us, especially in the... Riyad always, but in important games, always give you something unique, and special and feelful and is so determined. Is you know... His will and, and many things, I feel always his, his impact during the game is huge show as well. And it's just for that reason. Uh, Rahim, everybody knows how important it is for all of us, for me as well, especially for me. But in that moment, 
I decide for a players, but not because they are bad or they are not. You know, always had the feeling with Phil or Riyad, the goal is there. You know, he can create chances when he's in front of the goal. They have the sense to score a goal. It's one of the reasons why. When and thirdly, I was judge in Crystal Palace Omega substitutions for that reason. They were playing and had the feeling that they can score a goal when we would need it. You know, and sometimes we need another type of game or more more quicker or more control and sometimes we need maybe Jack, maybe Rice. Most of the time it's a tactic decision. Decision is not because I'm unsatisfied or they are not playing good. This is the reason why. Okay, moving to the embargo for 10.30 this evening, please, guys. <coughs>